Butterflies, we're back trying to get some more. And trap number one looks like it has some stuff in it. So we're going to check it out right now and see what we got. Keep warm. Yeah, you got to get some Red Admiral action going. Yeah. All right, so check this out, guys. This is a Cuban tree frog. No offense, Ricky. No. <laughs> um, Cuban tree frog. He came into my trap to eat bugs, and uh, he didn't make it. So I'm not sure what happened. Uh, exactly. What, what would have happened? I don't know why. Maybe he ate something that's supposed he to He dried be. out. Oh. <laughs> All right. So Ricky's got his first pair of red admirals, and uh, got a nice female here. Uh, this is your first first, first red time. admirals? Yep, first time. Yep, sir. Really? They're beautiful. Look at the blue. Yeah, they're they are gorgeous. It's a beautiful butterfly. It is. All right, so there's not a whole lot going on in trap number one. Just take a look and just make sure that she doesn't have a big full abdomen full of eggs. Looks like a male to me. Yep. Huh. Uh, hmm. uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Could try it. I try. I'm gonna try and pop them in a. Let's try yeah. and get some eggs. Yeah. <clears throat> Just slide them in there. Good. One more, right? Yeah. And this, guys, this is all their host plant, Red Admiral host plant. This pillatory, this stuff on all in the understory here. That's why there's so many red admirals because it's just. One got away with it. Yeah, it's all right. Just uh, understory is just absolutely full of their host plant. Well, <laughs> that's not exactly what we're after, right? No, not at all. <laughs> it's my Cuban cousin. Tu <laughs> primo. <laughs> Oh, Porecito got into my trap. I'm and, uh, sorry, Carlson. Yeah, Gotta well, let you go, but I'm yeah. a little late, but I... Anyway, all right. Let's go find the next trap. All right, trap number two coming up. And... Uh, I, there's some... There's no butter... Is there? We got a beetle. Is it the big green guy? I don't know what the color. I can tell, but it's a big beetle. Big beetle. All right. It looks like a click beetle. Oh yeah, there's some big click beetles here. Really? Yeah. Huh, hopefully it's not the one that I have. It's not supposed to. There's no butterflies. No butterflies. Gosh. Not bueno. A lot of action. A lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Can you lower it for me? Yes, sir. Come here. Okay. All right. Well, stop. Oh, that's the, the, the one. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's him, yeah. That's him. I don't see any beetles. Yeah, it's a beetle. Saw a beetle? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you got you got your beetle in there. And I don't know what... Oh, that's a, oh, red, that's oh, that's a female admiral, too. That's a female. That's a big girl. What is that white thing about? All right, so let's do this. Let's get our girl... Dude, I wouldn't put my hands in there with all those flowers. Yeah, it's it's part of Ooh, part of the uh, crazy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> part of the experience, Rick. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Such a and that's a big female. Let's see. Uh, I got a a bottle with that. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, you, got you, got you, got you, got you. All right. Yeah, that's Those mosquitoes. Yeah, they are. Lighting you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. So do me a favor, Rick. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's mosquitoes like crazy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at this it started raining, and all of a sudden. Yeah. So, so guys, this is definitely a female red admiral. See the uh, big, big rounded abdomen uh, is definitely female. Yeah, this guy's a male. The one that we have here. Yeah, I think. All right, so we got a female and a male in there. You can and, see a difference, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, we got a male here. Even though his abdomen's large, the female's wings are just so much more robust. So, yeah. all right. <laughs> all right so like this, that. yeah, so this one's easy to raise too. 
This is um, Oxidia vesula. It's a, uh, a big geometric moth. You have something you, can, you want to put them in, Rick? Yeah, I got an envelope. I'm, I'm going to delegate this one to, to you. All right, perfect. All right, this is a big female geometric moth, and the mosquitoes are tearing me up, guys. I'm so sorry for the- They're inside the trap. They are inside the trap. Oh, there's a wasp moth. Oh, look at that. Edward's eye, yeah. All right, so, ready? Yeah. Just get ready to pinch it off the top. That She'll lay eggs for you. And they, they have a very, they eat a lot of different things. So awesome. we'll, we'll talk about different host plant options if Perfect. we get eggs. Yes, so. All right. Oh, we're getting eggs. Look we're that, getting eggs. Look at that belly. We're getting eggs. <laughs> we're getting eggs. All right. So inside the trap, we also have uh, a noctuid. This is actually an okra feeder. And I'm not sure if we have okra around. But what I wanted to show you guys is we have a big click beetle. That's a huge one. That's the one that I want. Yeah. And we have a beautiful sphinx moth here. And it's a really pretty specimen. And uh, so my hand's getting just eaten alive inside of there. Yep. Get that top on. Yeah. Oh my Beauty. gosh. Beauty. Oh my God. This makes me so happy. That's there what I go. wanted. Look at, look, at, look at this. Look at this. Come on, stop. That's a big female, too. That's, That's pretty. And she's beautiful. Yeah. Usually in look, the look at the other wings in the in the bait trap they usually don't turn out that perfect. Yeah. So yeah, that's a that's a great specimen right there. Oh, 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 look at that. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Now that I can see it better, it's it's a gorgeous super moth. Super fresh. It's a fresh moth. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I'm lucky. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. I agree. Super lucky. So we've got a few other little noctuids in there, a few little pyralids. But Rick, I'm gonna let you get your beetle. Yeah. Show me your. Where you go? He's up on top. Yeah, he was. Like, He's up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but I'm not like you, wasp. Avispa. Uh, I don't like the wasps. No, neither oh, do yeah. I. This one I don't have. Yep. I don't have this guy. Look at those eyes. That's a big eastern click beetle right mm -hmm. there, guys. Yes, sir. I'm trying to hold it still. There we go. Look at you. It's a big guy. He is a big guy. Oh. Yep. They're fun. Oh, yeah. Good job. Thank you, sir. All right, now we got to get all the wasps out of here without getting stung. What is this right here, the white one? Uh, that's a that's a really ragged Acronicta something, something. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, it can bite. I didn't know that. Hmm. Look. He's Hard. Ch chomping, huh? He got me, but not so bad. <laughs> he got that, that twig like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ricky just pointed out. Check out these orange mushrooms, or I don't know what, if they're mushrooms or yeah, they're mushrooms. Yeah, they are. Pretty cool. They're on this dead uh, hackberry tree. Look at that, they're bright. Bright, bright orange. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, trap number three. Doesn't look super exciting. Oh, there's another Admiral. No Sphinx. Uh, oh, there's a Tawny. There's a Tawny. Tawny? Yep. All right, Rick, could you lower for me? Yes, where is it? Right over there. So, oh, let me show you what I do with these. Uh -huh. So I put this loot, no, no, pull this out. That's just, that's in case this comes through. If that, that's through, it catches. It catches. <laughs> and then, then it's just... That's a, yeah, just push it through. Push it through twice. That's my knot. Also, I can tell if somebody went in my traps. So I tie my own little knot. All right, guys. We've got a beautiful female tawny here. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, we got a beautiful female tawny. And this is good for me because I need a, I need a second chance here. Let me record for you. All right, good. Thank you, uh, All right. So, I need a second chance, guys. Uh, come here, sweetheart. Oh, 
Okay. Now she's a little older. Her body's not that thick. It's not. But she may have laid most of her eggs already, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, a question mark. There's a question mark in there, too. Yeah. Got a question mark in there. Let's see. Question mark. See, you gonna stay? You gonna stay put? Phase two. Okay. Trying to trying to determine if it's a male or female. Oh, you know what's in here? Oh, look at that! Scarlet-bodied wasp moth. No way. Way, dude. That's nice. That's cool. crazy. Not a lot of butterflies. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're, we're going to, no wasps in this one. This is not the recommended way of holding a butterfly. Rick, try and grab him real easy. Grab him. Got him? Let me see that. All right. That's, that looks like a male. Yeah, it's a male. So, um, that's a beautiful male question mark. Perfect specimen. Um, but we're looking for females, guys. I don't know if there's anything else in here. I think there's a red admiral, but on the what that scarlet scarlet wasp moth. All right, the red admiral is a male. Peace. Make babies. All right. Let's see. Anybody else home? We've got what looks like a hog sphinx. It's in decent shape. And we've got some uh, Zales. Zale. That looks like a Melopotus. We've got a few little, few little guys. Mocus. That's a green. That's a green. I'm going to take that guy. So. All right. Last trap of this spot. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping we get a couple more tawny emperors. Uh, yeah, keep going. Ah, right here, right here. Ah, oh, boy. Nada. No, no good, man. That's not what we're looking for here, guys. Uh, this one didn't work. This was the one I found and I tried to get a plate for it that worked. Oh, you got a click beetle up there. No, that's never mind. Okay. Nope. No bueno. Nada, nada, nada. Nada, nada, nada. For the wasp moth, yeah. So that's a great, great point. Uh, we, were, we see covering this thing right here is uh, all these little white flowers here are the host plant for the little scarlet bodied wasp moth. So no wonder we saw them in the trap. Uh, pretty cool. That's climbing hemp. Huh. The things that we do for, to raise butterflies. He needs water, and we didn't we didn't bring easy water. So, Gra grab me a little. Oh, yeah, yeah, grab yeah. me some of that vine. Yeah. Just pull up, pull up a chunk of it. Right, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. They're small. Caterpillars are small. Here, come over here. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> Good. You got it. Yep. All right, guys. This is climbing hemp. This is the host plant for the uh, the little scarlet body wasp moth that we just found. And uh, we're going to, we have the caterpillars going at home. So I needed some fresh plant. And there it was. So I picked, we picked some and we're going to go feed our caterpillars. Let's go, let's go, let's go. baby. I see the tawny. She's let's go. been evading me. Can you point it where it is? Oh, there yeah. <laughs> Woo. That was so fast. Oh, yeah, man. That's my girl right there, y'all. That's my girl. I'm gonna feed her when I get home. I'm gonna take such good care of you, sweetheart. <laughs> All those male tawny emperors, they got nothing on me. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie, that's All why right. we bring an extension net. Yes sir. Alright guys, I'm getting out of my truck. And look what's on the dirt right by my truck. A beautiful ruddy beautiful ruddy dagger one, guys. Um I'm gonna try and harvest this species specimen. It's been forever since I caught one. I'm gonna plop right down on top of them with my net. But oh, nope, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Okay, dagger wings, you gotta be quick to deal with them before you break their tails. If they flop around in your net too much, they'll break their tails. So both tails attached. Awesome. Amazing, amazing. Look at that bad boy. All right, yeah, so beautiful specimen of the ruddy dagger wing. I haven't kept a ruddy in a long, long time. And so uh, we'll mount him for you guys here in a little bit. But love this species. One of my favorite South Florida species, guys. Very difficult to get perfect. They have these set of tails. And uh, in, order, in order to get both of these tails intact and the little ones, <laughs> not easy, guys. So uh, kudos to me for doing that catching it taking care of the specimen and filming with the other hand so that was a one-handed catch job <laughs>